Okay, so Kennedy is starting to learn a few things from George. My next problem is how to stop her pushing herself inside. So let's see what George reckons we should do today. Out. 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 So, so George, how did that go? That was their first boundary, Jake. Yep. Uh, I'm going to teach them a few boundaries and rules, and that was their first one. When I come in, you can't run into our house. This is our house. And we'll use out. So when you set out, they can't cross that line. They have to stay out. You should be able to leave this door open and they don't come in. I'm going to open this door again and remind them of this boundary. And yep. then I might get you to do it. So, out. Out. Once they learn one boundary, Jake, they can learn a lot of boundaries. And we're going to teach them a few boundaries today. OK. Uh, uh, out. Good dogs. Out. Now, I haven't asked them to sit. Yeah. They've sat because they became passive. Okay. But I'm not insisting on the seat, I'm just saying you can't cross this line. I'm going to get you to do this. Okay, I'm all right. I'm going to get you to open the door and the first thing you say is out. Is out. You're going to challenge them a little bit and you stand at your ground and okay. they, you wait for them to become passive and I'll guide you through it. All right, all right. So you open the door yep. and say out. Now. Out. Open the door completely. Stand your ground. Out. Uh, move in, move in, out. Out. Very good. Now step back and say out. Out. Uh, uh, out. What are now the, the reason they're listening to me, Jake, is because I have a bit more certainty about okay. what I want and my body language is clearer to them. You're sort of panicking a bit and they're getting that it doesn't really mean it. The other thing I want you to be mindful of, Jake, is when you reward this behaviour, I want it to be calm. If you start talking in an excited, high-pitched voice or tickling them or exciting them with your hands, they're going to come back in. So we want our reward to be calming. So something like, good dogs. Or if you're going to pat them, it's... Uh -huh. So remember, dogs need rules and boundaries, <laughs> just like us kids. It's very important not to excite them with your reward at this stage. Okay. It's just thank you is what you're trying to communicate. Well, that was hard work. Candy certainly is pushing the boundaries, but with George's great advice and lots of daily practice, she'll get there eventually. Try George's tips for yourself. Always be calm and confident. Insist on what you want and be consistent. And reward them with a calm voice. Please visit sitdropstay.com.au for more information.